Alrighty, today I would like to share one of the chemicals we're going to be using in the preparation of the research here at St. Cloud State. If I zoom in a little bit here, I think you can see what I have here is a bottle of titanium 4 chloride. Uh, it looks a little blurry right about there. I don't know if you can really see, but it looks really watery. It's a kind of viscous liquid inside of this brown bottle. And as we can see on the cover here, we have a risk of corrosion, which is right here. It says, I don't know if you can see, but it says corrosive right there. If we take a look at what the warning label says, uh, I don't think you can get a good shot. Let's see, it says, highly toxic, corrosive, reacts violently with water, causes burns, keep container tightly closed and dry in case of contact with eyes, rinse immediately with water, blah, 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 blah. Highly toxic if inhaled, target organs, lungs, moisture sensitive. So let's take a look at what's inside here. So I'm going to position the camera over here. And of course, when operating with these kinds of things, we need safety gloves. So let's go ahead and put this on. What's very interesting about this chemical <clears throat> is that it's important in the production of titanium metal that you might have in your home. It also creates the pigment titanium dioxide, which is used in white coloring. Uh, in paint that you might use on your wall in your house. Um, uh, what's also interesting about this chemical is that when it comes into contact uh, with water in the air, uh, it ends up creating two different kinds of compounds. One of them is titanium dioxide, and the other one is hydrogen chloride. And if that comes into contact with water in the air, we get something that is basically equivalent to a hydrogen, excuse me, hydrochloric acid. So let's open this thing up and see what happens. So as we open it up, we can see all kinds of smoke. And obviously, if we breathe this in, we're basically fucked. So what's interesting is that the Navy in World War II used this chemical to create smoke screens on the water. I don't know if you can see on the phone here, but the smoke has a tendency to sink rather than float. It's not used anymore, simply because of its disastrous effects when mixed with water. But anyway, there is titanium tetrachloride. I hope you enjoy it.